Uh, welcome back. And then we are in the next session, actually. Fine. Let me share the screen. So here I'm able to understand now that where exactly the problem. So let me log in into Siddhi's one and then see whether I can do it or not. So HR and do not log out. <clears throat> Sign out. Click on confirm. Uh, yes. SID but one now. Fine. This is the one. So I'm now logging in with the Siddhi's login now. Fine. Hey, what's your number actually, Siddhi? Hello, yeah, what is your number? Uh, your three digit number. D21. Huh? D21. D21. Okay, fine. D21. So let us now go there, go to the purchase orders and create a purchase order for this one. Now create a what was it? Long go there. Fine. Any because so many people are working on it now, and somebody might have messed up something. And go to the manager, create agreement, and let us now create an agreement. D21 is a supplier actually for him now. So blanket agreement D21 this one is right. Fine. D21. <coughs> Supplier site, everything is coming. I know that. So, D21 is the business plan. Click on create. Okay. I'm not getting a blanket purchase agreement. Let me see whether it works or not. I know that. So, I'm now putting a date. Now, I want it. Date. Okay. So, I don't know whether the end date is mandatory or not. Fine. Somebody might have made it even an end date. Now, I'm not putting some date. Agreement amount is 1000. Go there. So, the minimum release amount is 50. Go there. Click on it. So, go there. Click on it. Now, go there. You're not agreeing all those things. Click on plus. I have not put one item over there. So D21 is the one. Fine. Don't give a tab. Do not take any item actually. So D21, thank you for it. Click on search. I will not say first item, it's lower. Don't take it up. First item. The price is coming for that. And then click on edit. Click on edit. I'm not going to edit on this one. Click on edit. I will not go there. So here I will not say uh, it is now the maximum price what allow cumulative price over it. And then I will not allow up to $13. $13. And then I will not say allow price over it is there. And cumulative pricing is enabled. Fine. Minimum release amount is 10. Now, fine, I will not go there. Click on plus now. I will not do it for this. Price breaks. I'm going to be fine. Is that D21? Uh, uh, D uh, D21 one D21 one is the organization. So D21, I will not put lock one over here. So lock one and that. So more than 100 quantities, you know, giving a discount of 10% of 10% is a discount. So you mean D21 and uh, that one. D21, D211 actually. D211. And then the same one, kind of D21, lock one, and we'll give it. So more than 200 quantities, he is now giving a discount of what? 20%. Humility is enabled. Humility is enabled. For us. Click on OK now. So everything is not done. So MR on the line level is 10, and then MR on the document level is 20. Fine. Click on OK now. Now submit it. So 3001 is the one. Click on submit. So it will now get approved soon now. <clears throat> The document has been submitted for approval. Fine. Right click and then duplicate. Okay. I duplicate. So here I'm now going to go to the requisition area. I item one of the one kind of right. Now go to space. I will now go to the purchase requisition. Purchase requisition shop. I will now ensure that his uh, credentials are there and this now. Fine. Go to space. I will now go to the update requisition preferences. So here okay. everything is okay. For him, everything is okay. We only use now. So go there. Here, if you see, only his is coming because he has not uh, given a data access on the uh, procurement request directly. When you given a data access on the procurement request, then only the multiple views will come for his user. And nothing is going is only coming. I will not go to the enter requisition lines now. <coughs> go there. So I will now populate the item point D21. Item 1. Now. And here I will now go there and then query for this. Now, there is no approved or not. You know how to put it. So click on it. I will now go to the manage agreements and then have a look at it. So go there. I will now say 3000. One is the one thing, but everything is there. Thank you for search. Now I will now see what is the status of it. It is open actually. Now go there. Click on it. We will now pop it the item. And then if you go to the BPA and then put 30, fine, it has to come now. Agreement has to come now. Three is not coming at all. And there is some other problem on this one. 
it comes out. Ah, do not come up. Fine. There is some mistake or some uh, I'm not understanding about what are the mistake I'm making it actually. It has to come up. I'm not coming at all. So let me go on and do it on a vision actually. In the vision, let me do it. Let me do it on a vision. Is not blank. So click on search. Nothing is coming. Fine. So there are some setting or I'm making a mistake somewhere. Fine. I'm not exactly aware of it. So let us now go to the vision. Now. Fine. So I'm now working on ESL. Like okay. this one, ESL. In the ESL, let me go there and then do it. The ESL, I go to the procurement. Fine. Go to the, I will now go to the purchase orders. Now. Fine. In the procurement, I will now go to the purchase orders. Let me get a purchase order for the existing one. Now. I can now go to the agreement creation. Let me get an agreement. So I will now go to what? Create an agreement. So you are working on the US one business unit on the mission actually. So the blanket purchase agreement. So he is not a procurement officer. So what happened? The procurement B is not coming. So I have to make him as what? Procurement agent actually. So I will now see what the username I used. Uh, PRC 11 actually. I will now make him as a procurement agent actually. I will now go to the setup and maintenance and I'll make him as a procurement agent. Then only what happens, you'll be able to create a purchase order actually. So click on it. So click on search, you know, manage procurement agent. Agent. So go to the manage procurement agent. Click on it. Go to the manage procurement agent. And then click on plus. You know. So PRC 11 dot student is a username. You know. Procurement view is US1. US1 is a procurement agent. So the agent is what student? Student comma PRC level. Right. Student comma the last name comma first name. Right. The procurement view is what US one. And that point I will now give powers to access every other's document. Full access I am giving it now. Full access. Full access. Full access. So he is now a procurement agent actually. So he is now a procurement agent for US one business unit. Thank you. Seven close. I will not done now. So click on done now. <coughs> not done now. Now we'll now go there and then create a P what about P1. Right? Click on the home and, on. And, then, uh, and then go to the procurement and then go to the purchase orders. Now this time you can very well do it. You can very well create a one. So the procurement B will be coming. So go to the create agreement. Fine, we are now going to create an agreement. So the blanket purchase agreement, US on business unit, fine. The business unit is coming, fine. Supplier is what? I will now say ABC consulting is there. I will now use the ABC consulting ready made supplier. <coughs> supplier site, everything is coming out. <coughs> Go there. So click on create. We are now creating a BPN for the US on business unit. <coughs> So I will now give a start date as today's date now. So end date, I will now populate now. End date, I will now populate some date now. You know, end date. You know. So I'm um, agreement about is thousand. So here I will now say, see here it is now open now. Fine. Amount limit is also open actually. Fine. This field can be hidden actually. It is preferable to hit hide the amount limit. Fine. Otherwise, what happens? The people will fiddle on this now directly. Remember, all cumulative SPOs are compared against the amount limit only and not agreement amount. Remember. So they have opened up this, this vision. Fine. It is a preferable not to open it. Fine. So that people will not fiddle around on this. Now, fine. The, I, because we used to do it. Now, fine. We, the e is already open and then we used to fiddle around. And then this will be compared. This will only be used for approvals and then this will be for cumulative what happens the SPOs actually. The minimum release amount is 50. 50 is now given. Fine. I will not say first to be the Click on it. No, go on. I will not click on plus. <clears throat> I will not put on AS65000. So there is a ready made item available. Now. Standard inject printer. I am not using it. Now. AS65000 is a ready made item. I know not. No coming. Go there. The price is not coming. I will not put the price over here as 10. Now. They may be missing their final orders. We can even give expiration date also. Fine. If, we, if we had applicable, I will not go on the ADT. I'm editing it. Click on the date. And then we have a document limit of 50, and then we'll have a document MR. Document MR is 50. Line level MR, I'm going to give it. No go there. Click on it. We'll not give a line level MR. <laughs> Yeah, 
see the supply contract everything is there actually right? so i will not say allow price override and then i will not give a price of 13 actually 13 and give it a, and then go there the minimum release amount is 10 yeah. 10 is the one agreement amount and the thing is only for information purposes no it doesn't have any uh, what happens the significance of that this people used to give these two values to monitor the releases basically how much of release has gone against the, how much we have agreed upon right? so all these things they will not monitor actually right? this is the one it is only for monitoring purposes it doesn't have any functionality actually. is same in ebs also ebs also agreement amount and agreement quantity do not have any functionality right? so we are now going to give what happens the discount right? the ship to organization is what 001 Fine, zero zero one is the organization. Fine, Seattle, and then location is Seattle. Now give Seattle like this. Seattle, and then the quantity is more than hundred. I will now give a discount of what ten percent. So click on plus. No fine. We'll now go there. We'll now go to the next one. So go to this place, <sighs> and then I will now give twenty percent discount also for the same combination. So discounts are org location specific. Remember, fine for every org location combination, we can have a separate discounts being negotiated with supplier. Because in Madras, he may give a 10% discount. In Calcutta, he will not say no discounts at all because my transportation cost is also there. So that is why you know, CA, TTL, and Seattle, Seattle. So more than one. The cumulative is enabled, actually. The cumulative is enabled. I will not go there. Give a discount of 20%. So the price is 8, actually. So click on what happens, OK. And then before submitting it, what happens, let me see whether the automatic approval is enabled or not. I'm going to duplicate now. So they might not have enabled the automatic approval, actually. So let us now check whether the automatic approval is there in place or not. <coughs> Set up and maintenance. <coughs> now click on it. I will now go to what? Search now. <coughs> it's called manage. Uh, I will now say doc approval. Manage document approval. Right? Manage purchasing document approvals. Go there. Right? This is now serial. I go there. Click on any rules. Right? One is enabled. Actually, we will go and see. Ah, so many rules are there. Nothing is enabled actually. Okay, one is enabled actually. Rule always applies is enabled actually. Rule always applies is enabled. You know, there is automatic approval. Fine, this is the only rule. Fine, it's okay. Fine, good. So the remaining are not enabled. It's okay. So we will not leave it as. <coughs> we will not go there and then click on the manage approval. Ensure that <coughs> we are having automatic approval over here now. Five two two eight three is the one. And now go to what notepad. So it's what DPA number <clears throat> DPA five two two eight three now. So this is application developer only fine with that one. So go there, click on submit now. Five two eight three is now getting submitted. Fine, we'll be getting up. So the blanket of the is also fine. Come on, fine. Come on down. Now let us go there and then we'll not what happens. We'll not give a damn now. Fine, come on it. So uh, it will be getting approved also. So in that case, what happens? Now go to the requisition area. Fine, go to that point. Now go to the home area, <coughs> and then go to the purchase requisition. Now fine, go to the procurement, and then go to the purchase requisitions, and then I am going to create it for what is. Yes. <coughs> uh, we go there. Go to space. Now fine. So if you go on that, make a check of it. Now go to the what manage agreements. Go to space, and then agreement number is what five two two. Uh, what is the number? Five two two eight three. 82283 is the one, and then make a search for it. So go there. So it's not coming. Light up. And if you click on the hyperlink of it, it is open actually. Hyperlink. Entity is also there. I don't know whether uh, end date is a mandatory one or I'm not very exactly sure on some A6500 is the one. So you'll we'll now go on and shop it. I will now we'll go on and check the preferences first of all. Uh, Manager position. I made a mistake. So I had to go to the check and go to that more task and then check the update requisition preferences whether everything is okay or not. So it is for the US on business unit. Go that. Delivered location, I will not make it as well. Seattle. Seattle, I'm going to make it now. Seattle. And destination date is inventory. I will not make it as inventory. Go that. So sub inventory is not required. Fund. It's not a mandatory one. So this much is sufficient for this. US on business unit. And then he is a student actually. Go that point. He is now making the requisition. I click on seven plus one. Now everything is now done. We will now go to the page and then click on the enter requisition lines and then let us know. Uh, create the requisition first. And go there. It is AS65000. <coughs> the then what happens? The agreement is coming. 
but again the agreement type is not coming so this has to be customized actually fine agreement type is not coming so let us know first of all customer if you put the agreement number it will not come fine five to two because it will not assume this is a cpa no it will not assume as a cpa five to two eight two fine. what is the number five to two eight three so five to two eight three is not coming mainly because it is not assuming this is a cpa <coughs> so agreement type has to be inserted actually fine we will not customize the screen actually <coughs> We will now learn about how to customize the screen. Agreement type has to come fine. That is not there. Thank you. Can't know fine. We will now customize the screen. <coughs> In the one case, it is coming. In the one place, what happens if we go there? In this place, if we go on the see, it is not fine. Go the more task, line, record, such lines. The agreement type is coming. So here, agreement. If you put this item over here, not fine. Because I see zero one four zero fine, and then give a tab, not fine. Uh, see zero one four zero right? Not coming. Here, Charan. It's not there. So I am in a butts one. Okay, D zero D twenty one. Okay, D twenty one item one. So automatically the agreement type is coming here now. Fine. The moment I put the item, the agreement type is coming. So here agreement type is not visible. So this field has to be inserted actually. In this place, agreement type is not visible. So what I am going to do is I will now go there and then customize the screen actually. Fine. Screen customization I will do it now. Fine. Fine. I will now customize the screen. And go there in this place. I will now go to the what <coughs> configuration now. Fine. Go to the configuration. Go to the configuration, and then here, what I'm going to go down now. In this place, what I'm going to do now, go to the sandboxes. Now. Go to the sandboxes. So let me go to the sandboxes, configuration sandboxes, and then let me create a sandbox for this now. Click on sandbox and do that. So I will now say test one. So I will now enable what the page composer. The page composer is enabled. And that. The page composer is enabled. And that. I will now click on create and enter. Now. And we are going to enter into the sandbox. Now, after having entered into the sandbox, we will now open up a page and then edit the page. <coughs> now you can see the yellow strip is coming. Thank God. <coughs> Let me then open the page. <coughs> we'll now go there. We will now open up the page <coughs> for our editing. Actually, <coughs> go to this place. Go to the procurement now. Go to the procurement. And then I will now open up the purchase requisition form. <coughs> Let me open up the page and then afterwards I will now customize it. So go to the what more task and then go to the enter requisition lines now. Enter requisition lines. So this page itself has to be customized. This page has to be customized. So this enter requisition page line itself has to be customized. So on that form itself I will now customize it. This form itself is customized. But here all the mandatory fields has to be entered before you go for customization. And the category name is a mandatory one. UM is a mandatory one. If you try to edit page, it will now say array R. You give everything now. Fine. Click on the edit pages. It will not allow at all. If you go to the edit page, first of all, the page should not have any uh, what happens? Any mandatory field unfilled actually. If you go there, it will not allow at all. It will not work at all. It will not work at all. It will not give some error. I don't know. It's not working. It's working actually fine. But normally, it will not work at all. I don't know why it's how it's working. Actually. Either one item is not working. Anyway, we will not try. If it is working, it's okay. Otherwise, I have to give the item. I will not go to the view and then go to the source. Now, fine. Click on the source. Now, fine. I have to give the agreement type actually. Agreement type is a field just to come in. Okay. I will not go to the source now. Okay. So go down now. And then the bottom, you'll be having this line. Okay. Now go down. And then bring this black line up now. Okay. Bring this black line up. I will not click on this area now. Okay. I will not go up and then click on that area. In the agreement, I will not click on it. Fine. Click on edit mode. Fine. It will now come to the agreement. agreement. Okay. See, these things are now showing an error actually. So many mandatory fields are there. So it has to be filled up. That way it's not coming. I will not give it a close now. Fine, close it and then let us now fill up the mandatory fields and then come over here. <coughs> Go the right up. I will not put it. Okay. AS 65000 is a one. I am not putting it now. Let me put the item. So once when I put the item, all the mandatory fields will be filled up. So mandatory fields are getting item description, category name, UM name, price, everything will be getting filled up. When you put the item over here, everything. So there should not be any mandatory fields unfilled actually. Fine. Every mandatory field must be filled. So everything is now coming from the item. Everything is not coming. Now we'll now go on and edit the pages. We'll now edit the pages. We'll now perform an edit. And click on the edit pages. Click on edit pages. And now go to edit the page. So go there, click on it. I will now go to view and then I'll go to the source. Go to the source. Then go there. Now source being nothing. I will now bring the black line up now. Bring it up. I will now click on the agreement area. Click on the agreement and then click on edit now. It has to go to the agreement now. This area has to go to the agreement. Agreement is coming. So here, what happens? The agreement type has to come now. Fine. 
So select one choice, whatever the agreement line, you know, see, I don't know what is the agreement type. That was agreement type, na? You know, see what is the name of the thing. Uh, it is the agreement type, actually. It is an agreement type. Where is the agreement type? I did not there at all. Below agreement, the agreement type has to come, no fine. So this may be the one, no fine. Agreement line may be the agreement type, I think, probably. Supply side, everything is coming. Man. Afterwards, supplier is coming. Okay? So in between agreement and then uh, what about the new supplier? New supplier is there, supplier is there. So this must be the agreement type actually. Man. I will not choose this line. I will not enable it actually. This is the agreement type. So click on edit. I will not make it as what visible and then the fine that wrong. So here you can see it is not visible actually. Right? You have to make it as visible. So drop it down. And then there will be an expression here now. Right? There will be an expression. Click on the expression builder. And the visible, drop it down and then go to the expression builder. I know that. I will not go to the expression builder. It was taught by a technical team actually. Right? So what he is saying is that you simply remove this content now. Right? You simply remove it. And then make it as a true in small letters now. Right? T -R -U -E. right? You make it as true. Fine. That is what he told me. So just simply remove the expression and make it as true. Fine. Click on OK. Now. Fine. Learn it properly from a technical guy. Now. It is not done. Anyway. Now what happens? It does not become visible. And then the show components also. So simply make it as true in running letters actually. Fine. That is what. So go there. So it is not visible. The tick mark is there. Show components also. Fine. Click on apply and then click on OK. Now the agreement type will be visible actually. So click on OK. Now. Not done. So you can now see. So agreement line is coming. So it has to come. Now. An agreement line. Uh, Agreement line is coming, but it is not a, it's not an agreement line actually. It is agreement type actually. <laughs> it is not an agreement line actually. I'm go off now. Let me see. Is, I thought that this is the one now. Fine. Yeah. Go to this place. Now. Where is the agreement type? It must be something or something. So click on the agreement again now. Agreement line is coming. Come on here. I can not understand this. Way. Ah, it is before now, actually. <laughs> the agreement type is before now. So make it as what agreement type. Agreement type is just before this actually. So go to the agreement type and then and make it as enable now. So agreement type I am not enabling. Hello, are you there? Anybody can tell me yes now? Yes, no, no. Okay, okay thank you. Mm, click on it now. I will not go to what <coughs> uh, expression builder now. If by mistake my this thing got cut, uh, what happens? Uh, call me on my mobile actually. Right? So then what happens? If any, sometimes what happens? I will be not be sharing it, and then my voice is also not out. Fine, immediately call me on my mobile, and then I will not what happens? Attend to the problem actually. In one case, which happened, no fine. More than twenty minutes, nobody talked to me. Then finally, one guy called me on the mobile. Sir, you are not audible, and then you are not sharing it. Oh God. <laughs> So this happens now. And I'll make it as a true now. Fine. Keep on it. Okay. I don't know what are the test and all. Fine. You learn it from the technical again. Fine. Make it as true. That is what he told me. Fine. That is more than sufficient. Fine. Click on the show component also. Visible and then show component enabled. So click on apply and then click on OK. Fine. Now agreement type has to come. <coughs> so you see, agreement is now coming. Fine. Agreement type is coming. Fine. Agreement type is coming. So this is now coming. So let us now close it in the right hand side now. Now customization is now complete now. Right? The customization is now complete. So right hand side top, you close it. So customization is complete. And click on the close on the right hand side top and then publish it actually. Right, right hand side top, you close the customization. Will not it's a four-step process. You click on it. Step number one is what publish. Step number one is publish. Step number two is what? Okay. Yes, now fine. Step number two is okay. The step number three is again publish now. Step number three is again publish. Fine. Click on publish. And then step number four is again yes. So this four-step process by which whatever is now getting customized. Then now fine with that. So we'll now go there and then directly create the position. We'll now go there and create the position. You had to log out and log in. I think it will come like this. Now see this. We'll go, there. go to the procurement and go to the purchase requisition. And then we'll now create a purchase requisition. So go there. Go to the more task and then go to the enter requisition lines. Enter requisition lines. Try to learn the customization to a great extent. Fine. You know, coming automatically. Fine. It is the AS6500. Mm -hmm. Go there. And then I will not change it to BPA. And then say Muruga. And then try for 522. Fine. Go there. 522. Muruga. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Vandichi. We got it. <clears throat> fine. The agreement number has come. I never case why it's not coming. I don't know. Once we give it, whatever the price will go away. The price $20 will not go away. And then it has now become what? $10 now. The price has now become that. It was uh, initially the price was $20. And then as per the agreement, the price is $10. If you go for one not one quantities, you will not get a 10% discount. The price will now become $9. Now. 
and then if you go for 201 what happens you can the, the price is now eight dollars so based upon this is now coming and then the price will now become non-editable fine i don't know how to make it uneditable fine. it is possible but it may be again on the customization of the page or on the bpi i don't know fine. the price should not be edited by oh yeah price override we are given us since we are given the price override we can very well override it so can i give a price of 13.01 anybody can see now i know overriding the price since i have given the bpa price override it is allowing you to override it actually so will it allow me to give a price of 13.01 anybody no why you have given only 13 no, no. 13 yes exactly i have given only who is this now thrivengram uh, yeah uh, thrivengram is very correct now fine i have given a 13 only if you go and then give a tap now fine it will not say cheapo i will not accept it it is accepting it but it will not allow you at all fine. i don't know i don't know why it's not coming fine. i will not give a done and then come out of it fine. So, but it will not allow it all. And then remember the moment you put the hand on the price, then it will no more default at all. Fine, that is a lab access for you. If you put your hand on the price, and then if you have overridden it, when you bring back the, what happens, I will not show you also. It is a very sensitive one actually. Fine. If you have overridden it, actually, fine, let's say you have overridden the price. The price is now gone. Fine. So, I will not say, oh, not one. Fine, one, not one. Now you are giving a 10% discount. So, you are not given the agreement. Was a blanket no fine. I will not put the agreement. Fine. Why two two? <clears throat> I am not putting the agreement over here. Fine. Now the price will be changing to what from two to ten. It will not. Now it will not come to nine now. Now you are overriding it. This customer is saying. This supplier is saying that I will not give you more. Also fine. Nine point two five years given. Fine. Nine point two five. We give it whatever. Then afterwards, if you go for any other quantity, now the price defaulting will not stop. Actually, it will not stop. The moment you put a hand on this now, fine. It will no more default from the price break section. It will not say cheapo, I will not give you a talk. So once when you put a hand on the price, it will not give you a talk. And then more than 13, it will not allow also. I am now again go and do the shopping. Now. So go that you know. I will not go to the enter request lines and then let me shop now. So, that, so I will not go that to the AS6500 is an item and go that you want. Know. I will not use what the market purchase agreement 522. 521. So I will not go for one quantity only to begin with. I will not come to the negotiated a bit later. So negotiated, I will not come to the bit later. Uh, the negotiated uh, part will not come to the bit No, no. I mean, even if, uh, suppose we change the price, okay, like uh, it was 10, suppose I make it 11. Yeah. So the accumulation of this uh, requisition or PO. Uh, yeah, accumulation will work actually. Fine. Cumulate, but again, against the accumulation, you have to get only the derive the price, now, fine. So it will not work at all. The moment you put your hand on the price, then accumulation will stop for you. Okay. Will not work. So that uh, under the agreement, this PR will not come. PR will come. Fine. The agreement, of... yeah, it will not come. The moment you overrid the price, only accumulation will not work. The rest of the things will work. Okay. Only accumulation will not work. <coughs> you got this charge account. <coughs> the that. I will not add to call. It's only one quantity. Fine, click on add to call. I will not check up what happens. You are this thing now, fine. <coughs> approvals now, fine. <coughs> Duplicate. <coughs> Let us not check the approvals for the requisition actually. Accumulation only will stop if you put your hand on this. The rest of the things will work. It will not. No more. It will not. If you give a 201 or anything like that, then the price will not change at all based upon your price breaks actually. The moment you override it. Go there. So we'll now go to the setup and make an answer. So then we'll now check up the requisition approvals. We'll now see whether it is automatic or not. <coughs> so go there. So click on search. So go there. And now it's we'll manage approvals. So go to the manage requisition approvals. So click on the manage requisition approvals. <coughs> So go there. This is enabled. You know, we'll see whether automatic is there or not. Because so many guys are working here now. Right? Throughout the globe, people are working here now. <laughs> okay, only one is enabled. Fine, go there. It always applies. Fine, go there. So this is one. Fine, go there. You know, see whether it's automatic. I'm going to guess good. It's automatic. No problem. I will not go to the shop acquisition. Fine, go there. I will not go to the manager acquisition page. Fine, go there. Where is the one? Shop. I will not go to the cart and then we will not submit for approval. So click on review. And then there's only one quantity, fine, go that you want to submit now. So 204136 now, fine. 204136 is the one. So the what PR is what? 204136 is the PR. The PR number is 204136. So it's not enough. Now, 
we can now see what happens now fine now the automation has to work now fine one more thing is required no fine i will not go on and see right so one more thing is also required fine that one cancel on the no see on the configure uh, procurement resource function whether we have it or not fine is a configure <coughs> procurement business function so configure procurement business function will not go there click on it no see whether the buyer is there or not so buyer is what is the us one now the us one is the us one is the business unit So here's one of the business unit. Okay, no problem. Let's see if the buyer is there or not. Okay, some Calvin Roth, some buyer is there. I'm now logged in as a PRC, Rama. So Calvin Roth is the buyer actually. So the buyer is already there. So you know, go to the purchase requisition. So if you go and then click on what you know, give a done now. Fine. I'll now again come back. Now come back. If you come back, what happens? It will say it has been taken by the buyer for operation. Fine. There is a I I mark is coming. Fine. Click on it. The line is being processed by the buyer actually. The line is being processed by the. The Calvin Roth is the buyer. He is now processing it. So once when he process it, the order will now get created actually. So the I mark will go away. Right? The requisition, what happens? You know, the line is being processed by the buyer because the automation has been set. So we have what happens? A BPA available here now. Right? The BPA is available, and right? the BPA is available, and then everything is there in place now. Right? Right? So the buyer is not taking up for processing. Right? The buyer is well. So after some time, what happens? He will be getting fine. This point is on the mark. So it is not approved. Fine. Right? So again, click on it. The I icon will go away, and then the order number has to come. Right? The order number is point one zero nine eight one one. Whatever the order number is, you now go to this place. Now, when you cancel, you now go to the purchase order. Then how? You now go to the purchase order. Then how? So there are two problems are there. The MR on the lines and then the MR on the document. Fine. There are two problems are there because of which the PO will not get automated at all. The PO will not be approved. The PO will not be approved at all. Fine. We have a problem there. So because of it, the PO will not be getting approved. Click on it. You now go to this place. You go to the what's called. You will not see on the process requisition area whether it is now getting held up or not. Fine, on the process requisition area, you will not see whether it is now held up over there or not. Sometimes it will be held up, sometimes it will not be. Fine. So requisition number I will not go on and go into. Two zero four one three six. Fine. So two zero four one three six. I am going to go into. I will not remove the buyer name. Fine. Because buyer is not mentioned. Two zero four one three six. Fine. 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 But what happened is that uh, it is now there. Fine, what I want. I will now go to this place. I think I will now go to what uh, I will now go to uh, what happens? The manager orders. No, thank you for the manager orders. I think quite a lot. So go there. Uh, supplier is ABC Consulting. Fine. ABC Consulting is the supplier. No, fine. So ABC Consulting. And then the buyer is what Calvin Roth. I will now remove the buyer. I think quite a lot. Buyer is Calvin Roth. Thank you for search. No, fine. The default buyer is Calvin Roth. I know that from search. No, fine. No, see. It is not created actually. It is not created. It is an incomplete status actually. I can go that thing on it. Incomplete status. You we'll will see the buyer name will also be coming up. <clears throat> buyer name in some companies are very very important actually because this guy has processed the purchase order and so when the supplier wants to have any query, he will be contacting him directly. He will be contacting. He will now give a ring to the office and then why don't you connect me to Calvin Roth? Right? Like that, they will now call and they will. So go there. So go to the actions and go to edit. There will be two problems. One is the line level MR, and then one is the document level MR. Both of them causing a problem actually. Both of them are causing a problem. So we did it, and then go there. I will now validate. I go to the actions and go to validate. You will now find two problems on this one. The two problems are going to come. So US one six four four six five. I know that US one six four one six four four six five is the PO number. Is the PO number? PO number is what US one six four four six five. Mm -hmm. The PO number is what created actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so the total amount released is now what happens? Less than fifty, as well as uh, what happens? Uh, you must enter either a requested date. Okay, that is also not there. Okay, why this is not coming? It is an automated one. So the date has to come from the PR actually. We must enter either a requested date or a promised date for the plan data. But how come? It has to come from the PR actually. I don't know why this is ever coming. So there will be two errors actually. Fine. Ten and fifty has to come now. Fine, but ten is not showing me. But normally it will not show clearly. When ten is also there, there is also one more error, line level MR also there. Like now, let us now go and then address it. Actually. So since what happens, we will not increase only the quantity over here. Make it a sixty now. Fine, keep on sixty. Sixty is the one. Fine, go that one. No man. Fine, go that total amount there. I will not go to the schedules and then give it eight now. See the agreement number, the requisition number. Requisition number has to have a date actually. Fine, the date will be there. The date will be coming over there. What as what? As a uh, what about the requested ship date? Fine. The promised date is the given date given by the supplier actually. Fine. Go that one. No go that one. No have all that one. I will not say he wants it on ninth actually. Ninth is the date for his month. 
So give a save now. Thank you for save. And then yet, I will not go to what happens. I will again validate. Now, thank you for action. Then go to validate. Click on validate. <clears throat> The amount change exceeds the price change dollar amount specified in the requisitioning business unit. So this we want to test it later on. Now itself is not tested now. <laughs> so whenever you are automating a PR to PO, I want to test it later. Actually, fine. Now itself the error has come. So let me test it now itself. So it is now giving that it is now beyond this limit. Whenever you are automating it, what I'm saying, this is the problem now. I will not right click on the duplicate. No, right click on the duplicate. So this I want to cover uh, on Monday actually. So now itself I'm covering it because mine is not working actually. I will not show you this now. I will not go to the space. I will not go to the configure requisitioning business function. I'm the setup and maintenance. I'm not covering this topic now itself because my system is not working here. No, go to I will not go to the search now. Fine, go there. I will not say configure <coughs> fine. Uh, requisitioning business function. So in this place, what happens? We go there and see it. And there are two things are there on this one. There are two setups are there. And here's one, this one, it. And there are two setups are there. So here, what happens is that this one now. The tolerance percentage, fine. The tolerance percentage has to be two now, fine. The percentage, the percentage will work only when you are importing the what happens? The PR and PO. At that time, when you are imported the PO, and then the PR level is there, fine. But it cannot be beyond two percent. And then when you're converting the PR to PO, this comes into picture. This comes into picture. So because of which is not fine. So it should be, it should not be more than two. Because the requester is saying that you have to what happens buy at some price. And then if the total amount, the total amount is not, let us say the total amount of the PR is 100. And then if the total value is more than 100 by this much of amount, what happens? It's not throw an error. This is for PR PO automation. If the company insists upon you give it, otherwise don't set it wrong. Fine. This is for the import actually. The percentage tolerance percentage is for import, and then this is for absolute value. Right? This is exactly same like what we have in US. Right? There is no difference at all. So I have now removed it. Right? So the price tolerance amount change has been removed. So amount is for what? From PR to PO, if there is a difference, what happens? It will be showing on the Now we go there. We will not go to the edit document or something like that. So this error is coming. We will now again give a save now. Click on save now. Click on save. And then again, what happens? Do the validation again now. No value, action and value. So this time the error should not come at all because we have removed that one. No errors are warnings upon. So the price tolerance amount, uh, it is for POT PO automation. Right? That is on the total amount actually. And then uh, uh, they have given something, and then uh, what happens if it exceeds? Always don't put that. If the if at all the customer is not insisting upon, do not put any value at all. Because some companies say the requester is the ultimate authority in deciding the price. It is not so. It is not really so because requester cannot say how much is the price. Only the purchase officers can say the price actually. because they will be negotiating with the what about the customers actually, with the suppliers actually. So, but some companies say the requesters is the ultimate authority. In that case, you configure requisiting business function. You put the amount tolerance there depending upon whatever they ask for. Otherwise, it will not even allow you to go beyond that amount at all. The total amount, whatever it has to be. And then if it is exceeding that amount, then it will not allow it down. So be careful on doing it now, right? because we did it in one of the projects right? where the customer is uh, saying that our requesters are the ultimate authority in design. <clears throat> it is not really so. Because fine, that's what is fine. Click on submit now. Fine. So 164465 is now submitted. Fine, click on submit now. It will be getting approved. <clears throat> so that part is also test like the document submitted for the part. Now, if you go there and then query for this now, fine, it will not show on the underlying whatever is there now. Fine, click on the now, fine, for that part. So click on it. No go there. I will not go to what <clears throat> I will uh, what happens? Go to the manage agreements and then query for the agreement. Okay. So my agreement number is what? 52283. I will not put the agreement fine. 52283. Click on search. <clears throat> go there. Click on it. So it's what I find there. So you can now see what happens. The release now there will be hyperlink now. Fine. We had to wait for the what happens, the purchase order to get approved now. Fine. So then what happens will be coming, the amount will be coming away now. So click on search now. Fine. The purchase order is not at approved. So now it is approved. So it is approved. Fine. It was zero actually. Fine. Click on it. It will not show the PO number over here. It will not show the PO number. And remember, for this PO, Calvin Roth is the buyer actually. Calvin Roth is the buyer actually. Fine. Calvin Roth is the buyer. If you go on and click on the hyperlink of it. So when you click on the hyperlink, it will not go into the edit mode at all. It will not go only for viewing mode. It is a view mode actually. It is not an edit mode. Edit mode means what? It will be creating a, what happens, a change order actually. So he is the buyer. Even though PRC 11.student, I have logged in actually. I logged in as a PRC 11. So let me, give, for you people to test it now, I will not give you this information also. So we will not go there. So I will not give you this information to you now. 
So all of you, please take copy. Now itself, you test it. Now, fine. Otherwise, what happens? It will be very difficult actually afterwards. <laughs> so go there. It's a is a PRC eleven dot student. Please, all of you, take a copy of it now. Fine. Then test it now itself because these instances do not work even for two days actually. Fine, <laughs> they will not go away actually. <laughs> so test it immediately. So this is what is fine. So it is not showing. Let us now make one more requisition. Shop purchase requisition. Now go there. Go to the place. Now go there. Come on. So we have already released for sixty commodities. Now I am going to the enter requisition lines. Right? Click on the enter requisition lines. So more than hundred commodities. What happens? You are going to get a discount now. Fine. Go there. Yes. Six five zero zero zero. Go there. Click on it. I will not refer this one. Fine. I will not refer the blanket purchase agreement. Go there. So what is that? Five two two. Now fine. Five two two. I will not refer it. Now we have already released for six quantities now. Fine, go there. If you put ninety-five quantities, will I get a discount or not? That's my question. Anybody? If you put ninety-five quantities, will I get a discount at ten percent or not? It is a quantity-based discount. Remember, will I get a discount or not? Anybody can answer me. Ninety-five. If you put it, will I? If you give a tap, will I get a discount or not? No, no, no. Why? Why? Because more than hundred, I have given a ten percent discount now. It is cumulative actually. It is cumulative, but more than hundred, I have already ordered for six on the previous purchase order. This purchase okay. order, how much it is now? Fine. It is already for six now. Fine. It is for six quantities actually. The quantity is how much? Sixty. Yeah. Sixty. You are given. So sixty you are given. So even on forty-one or forty itself, I must get the discount actually. So I given a sixty quantities actually. Sixty quantities in the section number. This order is. So here, yeah, I have to even get this now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So even if you give ninety-five, it has to get a discount now. Fine. Click on that now. <clears throat> no, go there. It's not coming. So if you go for another day, one twenty quantities and then give a tap now. Fine. You'll be getting what? Uh, the discount is not uh, go for one quantity now. Fine, one quantity. The price is ten now. Fine. If you go for forty-one quantities now, fine. Forty-one quantities we get up now. More than forty. Fine. You know, thirty-nine quantities. You go there. Thirty-nine quantities. quantities. What happens? It is not giving a discount. Fine. Sixty is already ordered. And then if you go for forty, you'll not get a discount. Forty, you'll not get a discount. And because it's a, because of accumulation, you're getting the discount. If you go for one forty, fine. One forty. Fine. One forty. If you give it. What happens? You know, see, one forty. If you give it, what happens? You'll be getting what? The discount away. If it's one thirty nine, one thirty nine, you will not get the additional twenty percent discount. Got it now, fine? Clear on this now? Anybody? Yes, sir. No. Okay, fine. Good. So click on it. So you're not getting a discount, fine? Based upon the accumulation, basically. So based upon the accumulation, what happens? You're getting a discount, fine? Click on add to cart now. Fine. One thirty nine. One thirty nine will be getting a discount. If accumulation is not there, it will be considered for individual price breaks, basically. It will be considered for the individual price breaks. So click on submit now. Fine, I'm going to submit it. So it is not done. Click on it. It is not done. So opening up over. And then finally, what happens? This will also be appearing on the this thing. Fine. Two 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 zero four one three. Fine. It will be there. So now it will not stop anywhere at all. You can see. It will not stop anywhere at all. I know that tomorrow. If you go there, it will not be taken for processing. And then uh, what happens? It will be buyer will be taken for processing. And then the order number will be coming up over here because there is no problem at all. The minimum limits are all basically done now. Right? Minimum limits, there are not any problem. So the maximum limit will be coming the problem. <laughs> there will be a maximum limit problem. Fine, click on done now. Fine. So there will be a maximum limit problem. So it is now crossing thousand actually. Is it crossing thousand? Fine, one thousand two hundred twenty. So it is now crossing thousand actually. So the maximum limit will now cause a problem. So again, what happens? It will be getting struck on this. So click on it. So you will then will buy will be taking up pausing. You know, say the buyer will be taking up for processing and then do it. So go there. <clears throat> so click on it. So the buyer will be taking up for processing. The the line is being processed. The buyer actually is going up. No doubt. Now what I will do is I will not simulate error now. Fine, no, I will not simulate an error. I will not go to what uh, I will not go to the configure procurement business function. Configure procurement business function. Let me simulate an error now. Go to place. Let me remove the buyer. I don't go there. You want to remove the buyer. Now automation will fail actually. If you go there, click on it. Now automation is going to fail actually. If you go and simulate it, the automation is going to fail. That is the US one here. US one business unit here. US one business unit. I will not say where the default is. Click on it. Now, if the buyer is missing on the item as well as the buyer assignments and then displays, what happens? Automation will fail actually. Automation is going to fail. P or P O automation will fail actually. This cumulative will be defaulting onto the PO. Right? There are the defaults. Fine. Right? I've already shown you the default document. Fine. Right? What's the default document always? Right? Not enough. So there is a default document. So that document will be very useful. Fine. Right? Whether right? you know, have this default document. Right? So we have a default document. <clears throat> so go to the Oracle Exchange training. 
and then you go to the application procurement documentation find whether there is a default document this will not tell you from where and all the fields will default no and pivo header schedule distribution defaulting is a beautiful document so each and every field from where and all it will not default for the purchase orders blanket purchase agreement contract purchase management filter location will be defaulting from here if it is not so it will not default so likewise for us every field has been explained over here is a beautiful document so go through this you make it as a reference as a reference document for you so prior and all is going to default right good job so go that in order so go in place fine is not done now. now let me go on and now go to this place fine go to the what's called purchase requisition where the purchase order fine go to one done i will not give it done fine so click on done now go on and query where uh, bpa and then have a look at the fine one now go to the bpa now you go to the manager agreements and then we know how to look at the bpa now So click on search now. Find you'll not find that what happens against the BPA. Find you'll not find there will be two purchase orders there. Now find the other purchase orders not coming at all here because what happens that the automation is failed actually. The automation is failed. So I will now go to the what purchase orders and then make a search for it. The automation is failed. Actually. It has created the PO but it has not approved actually. Find go to the manager orders and then query for it now. Find that. So query for this now. So supply is what ABC Consulting. ABC Consulting. And then the uh, buyer is what Calvin Roth. No, fine. I will not remove the buyer. Then try to click on search. You know, fine. The ABC is something. Now the, the automation has failed actually. So it is again giving a smart. No, fine. So click on it. No, fine. And then go on and edit because it has not exceeded the limit actually. Go to the actions. Go to the actions. Then go to edit. Go to the edit. Go there. So here, what happens? We go there and then go to the actions and go to validate. You know, the amount limit has exceeded actually. It has not exceeded the amount limit actually. So if the amount limit has got exceeded, oh God, I don't know why this is coming. I could not understand. Now, because requisition will always have a date actually. Does the date is missing there or not? Purchase requisition will not see there now. Ah, uh, the need be date. The need requisition delivery date is there actually. Right, eleventh of seven fine four is already there. So this will now become the requested date. I don't know why it's now throwing an error now. In this place, it is already there, and then it is not throwing an error. And if you don't have any errors, then whatever the eye icon will go away, and then the order number will be coming away on the requisition. That is the lab access for you. Fine. You don't have any error, but that, that will be a lab access for you. Fine. The order number will be coming. Fine. Eye icon is still coming. Fine. The so the eye icon will vanish, and then the order number will be coming. That is the lab access without any errors. Now this error also is a lab access for you. Fine. So you increase the on the BPA the amount beyond the thousand. Make it as five thousand or ten thousand. Then afterwards, what happens? You submit for approval again, validate it. This will not vanish. Fine. This is all right. So this also I can do it. So these are all the lab access for you. Fine. I'm not leaving it because I don't have time. Much of a time because <laughs> I lost on our system. No fine. So these are all the lab access actually. And then we have seen that one about the peer to peer automation. Fine. The agreement amount also we have checked. Check. And there is also check. Now I will not do one thing for the automation failure actually. Fine. Because I know removed what about the buyer name. Fine. Let us not create what about another acquisition. Fine. Go back to it. I will not create another acquisition. That time what about the automation fail actually. Don't go there. So I'll now simulate that. I'll now click on that. I'll now create another requisition where the automation is going to fail. I will now go to the enter requisition lines. <clears throat> go there. So I will now put A six five triple zero standing. I will now make it as a blanket purchase agreement. Go there. Five two two. Go there. <clears throat> So go to the place. I will not go for let's say around ten quantities now. Fine, ten quantities now. More than fifty dollars. Fine, line level limit is also okay. Fine, everything is okay. Fine, yeah. So there is no limit problem actually. But again, the higher limit will be coming into picture now. Fine, higher limit, higher limit will be coming. So let me what I'm saying. Change the higher limit also. Fine, so that I don't want to have the BPS problem actually coming into picture. Let me go with that. Click on it. Let me change it. I'll now go to what manage uh, agreement now. Fine, go to the manage agreement. Let us now take up the agreement number five two two eight three now. Fine, so five. Two two eight three. I don't want any of the limits to give a problem. Select it, then go to actions, then go to edit. I'm going to edit. I'm going to edit it. It's not creating change or nothing. So we normally do the edit only for upward revision. Upward revision of amount agreed. And remember, amount limit is a controlling factor. Amount agreed only we normally do it. Amount agreed. Amount agreed. Amount agreed. Amount agreed. Amount agreed. So the moment I change it, I am not going to make it change to five thousand. Five thousand, and then give it up. Amount limit gets synced along with this one. Amount limit gets synced. And then if you change it, what happens? Approval will be only for thousand. Fine. 
So this field is a dangerous field. Fine, remove it, hide it from the customer's attention. Hide it from the customer's friend. I will not submit for it. So I am not changing it. So I am not changing it. So all the thing, I don't know whether uh, 5,000 is sufficient or not. I'm not sure about it. I will not make it as 50,000. I will not make it as 50,000. 50,000. Thank you, Consumer. All put together, I know, made it a higher amount. Now, uh, when I, what happens, when I create a purchase requisition, it will be getting stuck on the process requisition saying that the buyer is missing for automation. Actually. That is what I want to say. If you change the agreed amount, if it will lower it also, the amount limit will change? <laughs> it's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> you will not normally lower it. Right? We will only make it higher, actually. You just make a check. I'm not very sure about it. So whether it will not change the amount limit or not, I'm not sure about it. Good question now. <laughs> you only have to do an r &D. Normally, what happens, the amount limit gets synced with the amount agreed, actually. So, check on search. It is not. What about the eye icon is gone here. Now I will not shop here. I will not shop here. I will not click on add to cart. This time automation will fail because buyer is missing. Actually. Automation will fail and the buyer is not going to be missing. So click on, so click on review now. Click on review. I will not submit for it. So 204138 is a one time click on submit. Now automation will fail. I hope that item is not having any buyer as well as the, the buyer assignment is also not having any buyers. If they are having it, then it will not fail at all. I'll wait for it to get approved. So pending approval. And then the IA account will come and then afterwards it will be getting stuck on the process requisition. And it's all complete enough. And so click on the now. So there is no what happens if you don't have any refresh icon over here. I don't know why they are not kept refresh. So click on done and then come out of it. The pending approval will be coming as approved. So if you go and see what happens, the buyer will be taking up for processing now. now there is no buyer at all. So there is no buyer at all. The line is being closed with the buyer. So if you go and then query this requisition number on the process requisition area, it will now fail for automation. Provided there is no buyer anywhere. It will now go to this place. Frankly, on it. Now go to this place. I'm going fast. You are able to understand it now. Anybody can say you are understanding it. I'm going very fast. <laughs> Click on it. You go there. I'll now go to the process requisition area. Oh God, nobody is understanding it. I'm really, really feeling bad. Anybody has understood it can say yes to me. So go there. I will now say, you know, buyer is now remote. Buyer is now remote. And then it will now search for it. So it will be getting struck on this area now, if no buyer is there. So that means what buyer is there, it seems. There is a buyer. And that is why it is not getting struck. Otherwise, it will now say, buyer is missing for process automation actually. That error will be happening. Maybe buyer is missing. Buyer will be there. You know, like not. You will not go to this place. And then here, you click on it. So I will not go to what? And manage. Um, what am I saying? Manage orders and then pay for it. So for the supplier is what? ABC Consulting. So I will not search for it. I will not see that. The next, the next is not in the incomplete. Actually, if I go click on it. So there's the one of it. Is a hundred dollars is correct? Nothing. You no know, see, but the buyer is there or not? Fine. Oh God, it has picked up from buyer assignments. I think probably buyer assignments. They might have made it actually. Fine. That's why you know pick up the Calvin cloth actually from buyer assignments. It will be there or item maybe having. It. So that is it. So you remove everywhere fine. and then afterwards make a check of it. And then you know see clearly on the area what I was reviewing. Fine. Go to the actions and then go to validate something. So go there. <clears throat> Come on, I don't understand this error now. Fine. The requisition is having a date, it has to get populated automatically. How come it is asking for this? Is the request to ship date? Go to this place, and click on save, and then go to action, and validate. I don't understand it. That error I couldn't understand because it's an automation action. In automation, it has to pick the requester's requested date as the, as the populated OEM. Right? That is not coming over here. Hmm, no idea. I click on submit for this. So we have tested the, what happened, the price override we have tested, and then we have set, tested the limits actually. Fine. Only $50 is firing, $10 is not firing. But in fact, what happened, $10 also will fire. In the, uh, you know, what happens, less than the $10. Oh God, I have not given the $10 actually. No, fine. That is the reason it is not firing actually. Got it, no, fine. It must be what, uh, I have to make it as what, 0.1 quantity. One quantity itself is $10, and so it is matching it. So line level limits is not firing at all. Yes, yes, yes. Had I put less than one quantity, then it will fire. Right? So that is also a lab exercise. Line level MR is a lab exercise. 
document level mr we have tested and then the higher limits also we have tested thank you sir adana what else we have tested price breaks we have tested thank you sir everything is tested now even the what am i sir on the configure procurement business function fine the po to po automation how much you can exceed that is also tested actually and then only thing is what when you remove the buyer it has to get held up on the what's called on your uh, uh, process requisition area that it is not able to process it. and that's it thank you sir so all of you please work on this instance these instances will not work for a long time actually so that is the biggest problem so today itself you complete this exercises on the bpa and then cpa actually you complete everything so that what happens will be comfortable on this so if you have understood the bpa can you put a green tick on the reaction screen now the bpa automation fine if you understood it can you put a green tick or if you have to refer the videos you can put a go slow icon also. <coughs> if you are siddhi has understood it fine go there sankuri is saying that he has to go through the video fine go there arun kumar so so many things fine go there so trivengadam and then siddhi have fully understood it fine sujala has also understood it <coughs> great action that is great <coughs> others have to go through the record <coughs> okay understand that what is is a slightly complex topic fine try to set it up and then if you find out the mistake on mine on our instance uh, please uh, educate all of us now fine put a message on the whatsapp group so that whatever we will also go on and have a look at it <coughs> good then fine any other questions from anybody else all very tough ones in the field i'm actually fine you have to practice practice and then do it actually nana tell me can we restrict a bpa for particular uh, inventory or no no inventory or no see bpa is for a particular item and then for a particular org also the org is also there na fine because the location is there na fine so we cannot uh, say that what happens uh, it is now made only for an item of an org only say like say like i have uh, two bpas yeah two uh, bpas I, yeah Uh, to bps i have to restrict to to my inventory org see like when i make three, a bpa it is uh, for what about i made it for seattle location and seattle org okay but naturally it is restricted you cannot go for boston org at all if i try to what about i do it for the boston org it will not work at all so item is now assigned to the what about the seattle org and then it will all be done in this place if you go there click on share and we go there i will not what i was a change it to boston and then i will not show you thank you i will not change it to boston and then show you i will not go to this place thank you i will not change it now we are now made it for seat election thank you for the procurement for the requisition requisition purchase requisition i will not change it to boston thank you for the update procurement i will not change it to boston 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 is not coming uh i will not see whether atlanta is coming or not thank you Atlanta, Atlanta is coming. Thank you, sir. I am not going to make it for Atlanta. I am not going to make it for Atlanta. First of all, item must be assigned to Atlanta. There is another thing. This item might have been assigned. Actually, can say from close now. The item is already assigned for that Atlanta. Maybe. I will not go to the what enter requisition lines. And then I will not put this item. I will see if it comes or not. It is six five triple zero. So now there. And then if you go to the BPA, fine. You will not find the agreement at all. Fine. Five two two will not come at all. Another way is you have a line there. Oh God, it's coming. That is now made only for this stuff. Anyway, now coming. It's all coming actually. So go there. So it is for Atlanta the location now. I have now made uh, the BPA only for what happens Seattle actually. So delivered location is Atlanta, and then uh, I don't have what happens. Uh, okay, we now see what happens now. Anyway. So I will not go there. I will not go for the eight quantities now. Anyway. Eight quantities. So it will not have any problem at all. Anyway. So click on now. Eight quantities. Okay. So click on that. So I, the requested date is now giving a problem. Let me click on it. Let me see. Eleventh of July is okay. It's not coming up. And I'll say ninth of July. I'm not requesting it. This is not getting popular in the order. So click on that. Click on that. Oh God! Why did it done it? Oh God! I'm not. I should have made enter. I'm not going to submit it. I had to add to the cart actually. So is six five triple zero the one. Go there. So I will not choose the contract blanket. Fine. Five two two. Normally, I don't know how it's accepting it actually. Fine. It is for the Atlanta location. Fine. This is Atlanta location. Fine. Click on Add to Cart. Fine. And then go for main quantities. The price breaks will not come because we don't have a price break for the org location combination. Fine. That is why it's not coming. Even if you give it, it's not coming. So click on it. 
Humility has to lead me to a 20% discount actually, because we already crossed that limit actually. So click on submit. So 204 to 1401. So click on submit. There's no getting submit. And then we'll now go on and look at the what's called, you go to the purchase orders now, go to the purchase agreements. You'll now see this is now done. Right? So here, if you see uh, uh, in this one, 52283. So the location is not there. Yeah, very correct. So there is no location at all. So we can create what happens a release against any location actually in the BU. In this BU, we can create it for any inventory. Because the BU is not having, the BPA is not having any location at all. Because item itself, what happens, the quantity is not there, the read page is not there. So it is not showing any location. So once when your requisition is not for Atlanta, it will now create a BPA, create a PU. I thought that it will be there. So it's a good question. So I'm wrong actually. So it allows you. Actually. Okay, then it is uh, business unit specific. Uh, BU specific actually. BU. Not okay. So your, uh, what was your, uh, BPA is not having any location. And so the requisition can be for any org actually. Provided the item has to be assigned there. If the item is not assigned, it will not work. Item has to be assigned to the org, then it will work. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who is this? Through them. Okay, through them. Okay. Yeah. Thiru has given a beautiful question now, so I was mistaken. Any other questions from anybody else? We'll now see touchless buying on Monday. Let us hope that by the time we will now resolve the issue of this now. Somewhere some issues coming. Otherwise, I will again have to go to what I was visions one and then demonstrate. So all of you, please practice this on this now. So if you practice it, typically. Okay. Practice this in the way. Any other questions from anybody else? Good then fine. Bye for now. And then we'll now meet on Monday and then we'll now continue on this. There are some more activities in the purchase orders. And then after we complete everything, we'll now go to the receiving. And the next major topic is receiving. <coughs> Communicate on the what I mean, WhatsApp. Uh, if uh, you find out the mistake of mine on my automation actually, the BBA number is not coming here. I don't know why it's so. Bye for now. Bye. <coughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye.